It's an amazing work, I think, because it's basically, again, about this whole idea of energy and movement and nature and what nature does and what nature is. It's a work that really is about the river as a life force, as a source of um, you know, water, photosynthesis, the whole cycle of nature. But also it's a beautiful work because I think it celebrates just movement, the sort of uh, the, the, the power and the energy and the, the joy and, and a kind of whiplash-like movement across the walls. When I was um, a student I, uh, at Elam in Auckland, I, my uh, part-time job and full-time job in the holidays was working at a foundry. Um, <clears throat> so working with the lost wax process. And so I've, I kind of worked with such a lot um, over the years. And these are all um, lancewood leaves, Horaweka. And we were, I was given permission by Otari Wilton Bush Reserve in Wellington to, to pick the leaves. So I could take a ladder and we could climb the trees and actually pick the leaves uh, and we weren't going to get into trouble. And so, and then moulds were made of the leaves and then wax is taken and they were cast. Um, they're, all, the works, they're all hand painted um, with oil paint and um, although you wouldn't know they're bronze, so there is kind of a weight to the material, to, the, to each leaf. Um, and then I weld uh, pins on the base. So when they're on the wall, their um, holes are drilled. So the leaves actually sit out and cast a shadow. So depending on where uh, it's lit, you can create afternoon, late afternoon shadows or whatever. Um, so there's kind of a three-dimensionality to it. And if, the, if it's um, subtly lit in a particular way, it becomes quite snake-like and the, the leaf uh, line becomes quite three-dimensional feeling just depending on, on the shadow. So it's, you can actually change the dynamic of it quite a bit. And so with this work, I feel it um, has quite an optimism about it and celebratory and um, it's just... Uh, you know, uh, is, it, is it something in the air or is it on the land? And um, I quite like that ambiguity as well. There's a beautiful thing that goes on in this work where you use the, obviously the smaller leaves on the, on the plane of the wall and the bigger leaves. And of course, when the leaves get bigger, as they do, you know, at the, um, the forward little descents in, in, in the snake form, um, you know, the, the leaves get bigger. So in a way, you're turning the wall into quite a, um, you know, a three-dimensional zone. And we now, when your eye sees the tiny leaves, they recede very much into the distance. So you are creating a wonderful kind of optical illusion, I think. Mm. There needs to be like, for me, I think, sort of a, an authenticity in a way, in terms of how you say, you know, like we are viewing from a distance and close up. So I, I'm aware that I'm, I've got to be, get it right at all, on all levels in a way, just the way I work. And um, like in behind as well. So I have people come go and say, I really love your edges, Liz, and they're looking around the back of the work. And so there is that kind of thing that um, it needs to be right. And so in terms of the spacing of the leaves, for it to have that kind of tension and release, um, so all the spacing has to be worked out really, really carefully in terms of, of you know, um, kind of mathematically, kind of loose mathematics, um, for it to work, you know, like, so that creating a void, the work is in a void, and so it could be read as landscape. So it has that kind of photographic truth in a way that, um, do you know what I mean? So it's like um, the work exists in itself. It's not, um, um, it's not sort of, well, it's stylized in a way, but um, I don't know. It has a, it has, a it has a kind of a reality, possible mm. reality to it. Mm. I mean, all your work does seem to have a kind of really organic feel this thing that when you move around, it'll look different, it'll feel different, it'll have a different kind of energy to it, depending on how close you are. You know, if you're a long way away, this just becomes a big, long line with on a wall. But when you're very close, you see the intricacies of the leaves, and it becomes a different thing. And if you move mm. to the side, you see the shadows a lot. In a way, it's wanting to work the way nature works, isn't it? It's wanting to be changing and evolving and um, with the changes of light in a room.